Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally herbivores in our nature further balance out your physical your physical body's pH level and to get with alkalinity then you can generate some static electricity send me some love telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great days so I'm gonna uh, read a poem for everybody today that um, is pretty much going to go public on Sunday uh, and I'm pretty much gonna make Sunday's days for reading poetry as well that I have written um, because I just feel as though Sunday is like the perfect day for poetry, you know? So, um, I'm going to recite a poem and then I'm going to interpret it and then, um, you're going to enjoy it. <laughs> okay. You're, you're just going to enjoy it. Okay. Uh, very, very simple video, enjoyable and relaxing. Okay. So, um, Let's get right into it. Today's video is petrifying. Now, so the title of the poem is petrifying and if you do not know what petrifying is it's um pretty much like petrified wood you know that process of uh petrification this is what this poem is okay all about but um yeah let's get right into it petrifying making my way through this total familial forest I stumble upon a great petrification enamored by this woods unique changes such a mutation that's taking place a specific type of chrysalization mimicking a mineral tints of red shades of brown caught in a stasis my childlike curiosity blossoming as i recollect whilst writing these pages granting a process that's petrifying yet paradoxically also gracious this universal cadence is truly the greatest leaves me aimless dissolve estrangements unification portray this petrifying spacious portrait how yes okay that's the poem um i hope you enjoyed it okay uh i'll read it one more time because i just really like it um yeah, I'm going to read it one more time. Petrifying. 
Making my way through this total familial forest, I stumble upon a great petrification. Enamored by this wood's unique changes, such a mutation that's taking place a specific type of chrysalization, mimicking a mineral, tints of red, shades of brown, caught in a stasis, my childlike curiosity blossoming as I recollect whilst writing these pages, granting a process that's petrifying, yet paradoxically also gracious. This universal cadence is truly the greatest, leaves me aimless. Dissolve estrangement, unification, portray this petrifying, spacious portrait. Okay. And that's the poem. Uh, petrifying, okay. Uh, very, very, very good poem. Very good poetry. Let's get into interpreting this, okay. Uh, I don't want to make it too long, but... I mean, I can go really deep with this. I can keep it surface level. It, it's ever deepening, but let's just see where it goes. Making my way through this total familial forest. So, this is actually, uh, this is actually pointing to a actual experience where I was within uh, a very, very small forest. Not really a forest, but like the woods, you know, uh, back in my youth, I was within the woods outside of my uh, family's house and I was with my cousins and then uh, we found like a, a petrified piece of wood, you know, so then I, I pretty much when I started writing this, I started off with that, finding this peach, this piece of uh, petrified wood, you know, so I'm pretty much like pointing you to this forest or this small woods where we found this uh, petrified wood with this starting line. So uh, making my way through this total familial forest, I stumble upon a great petrification. And this is obviously us finding this petrified piece of wood. Okay, and uh, enamored by this wood's unique changes. So this petrified wood, we were all completely uh, in awe for the piece of wood because um, we never really saw any type of petrification to wood, you know, it was literally like like a, a, uh, a crystal or a, a type of mineral stone, you know. It was very, very hard. You would not be able to break it like any normal piece of bark or wood. Um, so we were obviously enamored by this. Um, also, if we're like double entendring it, I stumble upon a great petrification. The uh, totality is very much in a process of becoming petrified nowadays. Uh, we're, we're kind of becoming more dense. Some people are ascending, some people are becoming more dense. It goes back and forth, you know. Um, but I'm not going to dive too deep into, like, the deeper meanings, the divine creativity, you know. Uh, I'm just going to keep it, like, what I was uh, surface level writing about. Such a mutation. That's taking place. A specific type of chrysalization. So, uh... I'm pretty much just like affirming the the uh, uniqueness of this petrified piece of wood that we find that we found, you know. Um, so such a mutation. It's not like any other piece of wood that we had previously found. It caught our eyes and it completely left us enamored, you know. Uh, that's taking place. A specific type of crystallization. So it's a process of. Uh, kind of like uh, crystallizing itself you know it's kind of coming into being a mineral um, from a piece of wood it's a piece of wood that is mineralizing itself you know 
or, or chrysalizing itself, mimicking a mineral, tints of red, shades of brown, caught in a stasis. So um, I'm trying to like paint how this this petrified wood looks, you know, very, very beautiful. Um, obviously words don't do the justice though for for direct experience but uh caught in a stasis i'm pretty much affirming that uh enamor that enamorment with this piece of wood you know this petrification um my childlike curiosity blossoming as i recollect whilst writing these pages so I'm pretty much like coming back to a self-reflection, um, my childlike curiosity blossoming as I recollect whilst writing these pages. So I'm taking you on this journey of uh, finding this petrified wood in my youth. And I'm pretty much just saying that the curiosity that drove me to the, the, the woods to find that petrified piece of wood in the first place um is now coming right back up while i'm writing these pages you know um granting a process that's petrifying yet paradoxically also gracious so in doing this in writing these pages with this curiosity that's that's from my youth okay um I'm very much uh, becoming petrified myself, you know, I'm going through that same chrysalizing uh, effect, okay, um, yet paradoxically also gracious, so when wood comes to be petrified, it pretty much becomes, uh, I want to say more dense, you know, because you're not going to be able to break a piece of petrified wood you know it's very hard it's like a rock it's a stone basically it's like a mineral now and you won't be able to break it so in that way it, it pretty much becomes more dense and um, granting a process that's petrifying in becoming more dense it's pretty much like going through a state of transmutation it's completely changing its its uh, entire composition you know and uh this is pretty much what was happening to me as i was writing these pages um so a very unique change was taking place very beautiful change in a, and in self-reflection i was becoming once again enamored by this own petrification that's taking place within me not just the piece of wood that i found in my youth you know um but paradoxically it's also gracious so uh, a petrification to some wood makes it more dense and heavier and it may keep it to the ground you know but paradoxically it's also gracious it's also a type of ascension that's taking place it's a raising of its vibration because its uniqueness actually was able to catch my eye completely granting me an enamorment which uh, lifted the stone from its place and in this is a graciousness you know so it may be a dense piece of petrified wood now but in its unique change its mutation its beauty in itself it actually brought a type of graciousness to itself because it was lifted right from its uh, position you know so uh, granting oh, I already read this this universal cadence is truly the greatest leaves me aimless okay so this universal cadence divine creativity is obviously very 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 saturated nowadays especially with the rise in divine feminine energy um okay divine creativity it, it, it's just literally uh it's just the greatest okay it leaves me aimless literally it leaves me um disoriented when it comes to goals you know if you have like a point a to point b mindset like a left-brained mindset linear mindset um this universal cadence is most definitely going to 
dissolve that away from you leaving you goalless and just completely aimless and more so in the moment rather than uh in a work mode you know which should always be um put down here and there you know so you can actually enjoy the totality dissolve estrangement, unification portray this petrifying spacious portrait okay so dissolve estrangement. um obviously while i was reading this i was actually going over it again and i was thinking more so to uh express estrangement you know because it's great to be strange but uh i wrote dissolve estrangement so that's how i was feeling while i wrote this so i guess um don't be so strange about it but express yourself uh, how you want to express yourself you know just as a child would they don't really overthink at all uh if they're strange or not they just kind of join the dance you know and in that way dissolve a strange estrangement because um in adulthood or just with conditionings and whatnot or societal programming you can get caught in a uh, blockage you know and it'll become subconscious and it'll be um along the lines of being different from another person but that's where the beauty is you know um being different it is a great great um thing you know because no two things are ever the same anyways geometrically everything is different no two snowflakes are ever going to be the same no two blades of grass are going to be the same so everything is different in nature but the two blades of grass look alike they're kind of identical but geometrically when you get down to it they're not the same at all they're completely different you know so that's the beauty um unification unite okay uh universal harmony is the basis of nature portray this petrifying spacious portrait so um end line uh portray this petrifying spacious portrait so feeling very spacious nothing to really overthink about it or dive into um obviously i painted a portrait with my words and it was very petrifying okay hence the title of the poem petrifying okay and uh i obviously self-reflected to a process of petrification to myself after reminiscing on my um, youth and finding this petrified piece of wood and then end lines i kind of uh portray this portrait that i wrote with my words throughout the poem to bring you yourself the audience or the listener to a state of petrification as well to join me you know so uh full circle okay very beautiful poem i love that poem so much um it's very beautiful it goes so much deeper too but i'm gonna keep it right there for you guys you women um i do thank everybody for watching and i hope you did enjoy the poetry and i hope i did um bring a heightened creativity to you because creativity is literally the necessary force for life to sustain itself or just continue you know so it's needed in every activity that you take up make sure to be creative okay because without it life is just dull and gray and uh you need some color you know so i do thank everyone for watching and i hope you did enjoy today's video once again subscribe over here to the left of me and help me reach 100 subscribers drop a like on the video to the right of me and support the channel once again generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura it needs to be realized and strengthened for the collective rise in consciousness i love you everybody have a great day and peace out